Hello, hello, good evening at Hoana. Let me share the screen first. Okay. Hello, good evening, everyone. Hi, good evening, Patrick. How are you? Okay, I already see got three counters. Uh, in Econ Berhard, EcoVest, EcoVest, right? EcoVest, MSC. Okay, no problem. Later, we will go through together. <clears throat> okay, so, yeah, good evening, Anthony. Please help me to click like and share this video lah. okay how are you everyone how is the market okay so today content will be the same as well we will go through the market outlook which include the us market oil gold cryptocurrency and fpm klci follow with the stocks q a okay and yeah let me know the stocks you want me to review and the intention now okay whether you are looking for entry price or you already entered okay uh, and your uh, EP at where your average price so that I can give a better advice uh, based on TA point of view. Okay, glad to hear that <laughs> you are good, Anthony. <clears throat> Hello, Jordan. How are you? Wow, you with emoji. Uh, looks like a very good day for you. Uh. <clears throat> okay, let's warm up with the US market. Uh. Okay, so far, US market, uh, if we base on the weekly point of view, uh, okay, weekly point of view, uh, what, what we can see on uh, last week last week weekly closing okay as we can see uh last week closing is not that bad lah, okay at least it's a slightly bullish okay pattern lah, okay but they are unable to break through 32.5k for dow jones okay for dow jones they need to clear this level only got chance to challenge higher okay so temporarily what i see is okay if we based on the uh friday closing uh okay also it's a hammer like candle and market been sideways around here for more than two weeks lah, okay so seems like the worst temporarily is over okay seems like market may have some pull up okay before the another bad news are maybe <laughs> okay so temporarily what i see is our market slightly bullish okay and for dow Jones, they need to clear 32.5k and well for the s p the weekly closing actually not that bad as well <clears throat> okay they break above 3940 Okay, closing about 3980 lah. Okay, seems like uh, they still got room to go up. Probably can retest. Okay, currently testing 4000 now. Okay, I think they, they do have potential to uh, maybe challenge 4040, 4080. Okay, daily point of view also can see last week. Okay, Friday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, market supported by 3940. Okay, seems like 200 MAs is supported. Okay, seems like, okay, not that bad yet. Okay, market may have some pull up. Okay, maybe to uh, attract some buyer to come in first, then they only have another wave to sell down. Lah. Okay, temporarily, I am slightly bullish on the market. <clears throat> okay, especially NASDAQ. Lah. Okay, NASDAQ weekly, weekly closing uh, is among them uh, is the uh, strongest one. Okay, closing about 12.8K. Okay, now they are at an important resistance, lah, which is, which is 12.8K to 13K. This is the resistance zone. Once they can clear off 13k, uh, we are seeing more upside on the uh, Nasdaq. Maybe you can say the tech stocks are uh, okay. 13. Uh, 13.35k, 13.6k is a R1, R2. Uh, if they are able to break above 13k first. Okay, seems like a uh, US market temporarily is pull, pull up. Lah. Okay, pull up. So next is the oil price. Uh. Let's see, uh, US oil. Okay, oil weekly point of view. Last week, they get supported by $66 WTI. So currently break above uh, $70. Lah, okay, if they can stay above $70, we are seeing they might pull up to $74. Okay, oil slightly bullish. Lah, okay, I, I see it's rebounding. Lah. Okay, so how about the gold price? Okay, since overall market is uh, turned into mini bull lah, okay so go will have a little bit bearish lah. so what i see is they might come back down to retest 1935 okay around this zone we see any support over here 
So gold slightly bearish. Okay, maybe we'll have some correction. Okay, some correction before they want to go up further. Okay, how about the cryptocurrency? Anyone into Bitcoin? <clears throat> okay, crypto. Okay, for Bitcoin, uh, uh, last week closing, consider neutral. Uh, okay, we can see the bull and bear is still fighting. And, but previous week, we do have a strong breakout. Okay, strong breakout above 26K. Okay, this is a weekly chart. Lah. So, seems like as long as the next few weeks, uh, they just sideways and stay above 25.2K. Uh, I think Bitcoin is still bullish. Lah, okay, as they just break out from the inverse head and shoulder. Okay, as long as stay above, the breakout is still valid. Okay, just let them go sideways first. Lah. Okay, Ethereum as well, already break out uh, 1,007. Okay, as long as stay above 1,007, the short-term momentum is still there and they do have potential to test 2,000. Okay, how about our FBM KLCI? Okay, la. Our FBM KLCI, we can see weekly point of view. Uh, previous week, we do had a weekly hammer. But last week, no follow-up. Okay, closing with a bearish candle. So, means that the hammer is invalid already. Okay, so today follow with a sell down lah okay Mon monday if we see daily yeah not so strong lah okay they didn't follow the global sentiment so tomorrow wash out on the immediate support 1391 okay if this level unable to hold we are seeing 1385 1380 1375 okay seems like our market is not so strong lah <laughs> okay let's let's start with the uh, our <clears throat> Stocks Q&A, uh, review Econ Berhala. Okay, first one. Uh. Okay, Econ Berhala still not that bad. Uh. Okay, MACD cross up. Okay, what we can see here. When? Uh, January. Okay, 30, 31st of January, they do have a spike. Okay, then slowly sell down. Okay, uh, here nothing much, lah, okay, nothing much, but they do bounce from the 200 MA, which is about 18 cents, 0 0.18. Okay, bounce up, but but the bounce are uh, not much volumes, lah. okay, so uh, I expect they might just continue sideways, but at least this shows us that uh, they do retest the 200 MAs. Okay, overall, uh, overall view, uh, I feel they do have chance uh, from downtrend uh, into uptrend, okay, they do have the chance. As we can see, uh, these counters are... Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, we can see the breakdown. Yeah, breakdown actually is way before that. Uh. Uh, yeah, the downtrend uh, is since 2018. Uh. Okay, they only got a potential turnaround back in 2019, May. And then after 2020, February, they continue downtrend. And we can see all this while they keep get resisted by the 200 MA, which is the uh, orange line. Right. So finally, we can see uh, they just break up 200 MA and retest. So I think these counters uh, still have potential. Lah, okay. As long as, uh, as long as the price uh, above 175, okay, I think still got potential. But this is a penny counters. Lah, okay. So sometimes they like to sideway. Okay. Their character is like that one. They like to sideway. So as long as they above 175, I think they still have potential. At least uh, they already break up the 200 MAs. So I think, yeah, it's still can still can KFV, this one. Okay, how about Ecovest? Okay, Eco okay, Ecovest, uh, they very tricky uh, in my opinion. They always, uh, I mean, I think they also know how to read the chart. Uh. <laughs> okay, they always wash me out. Uh, so I give out these counters. But okay. So far, what we can see here, uh, this counter also got a breakout, retest support, retest support. Okay, this they do have break break down the two hundred MA la, which is around, uh, three six five. But they immediate recover of after a couple of uh trading days. Okay, at least from here we can say they do supported very well, and today another gap up close high high volume as well. Okay, so for these counters, I think, yeah, also got potential, although I'm not so, yeah, I'm not so favored. I also, I'm not so like these counters. Lah. Okay, but at least we can see uh, overall formation, uh, the structure, uh, I think it's still healthy. Okay, if they retest 385, 375, I think it's still all right. Okay, so this one, yeah, with the volumes, I think it's still worth to KIV. Lah, okay. Okay, how about MSC? 
Okay, when I say worth to monitor, you can put in the watch list. Uh. <laughs> okay. Okay, MSE temporarily uh, not so good as in they already break down one 193, or we can say they break down 190. Oh, uh, no, 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 191. 191. Okay, they break down 191 and also break down the 200 MAs. Okay, with a bearish price session. Okay, today is quite bearish. So, yeah, you can use a immediate support, which is a 100 MAs. 179. Oh, ngam, ngam, ah. 179 is the immediate support. Okay, if break, 170 already, lah. 169. Okay, if break, 169. 179, 169. And for the resistance, I will back to the previous support, which is uh, currently is a uh, resistance, uh, 191. Okay, so for this one, I think they are slightly weaker unless they can get supported and stay above 179. Then do have potential to retest the support. Otherwise, I'm seeing they might re visit about 169 one, one, or even lower. Okay, this one I'm not so... Uh, not so light lah. Okay, I feel the rebound temporarily much I'm over already. You can see the high is getting lower and they break down here. So overall structure not so strong lah. Okay, here got a small support lah. Maybe they might have a short term bounce up and continue to sell down. Okay, this is what I see on the uh, momentum lah. <clears throat> okay, MACD is still weak. Hello, uh, Peter. Okay, okay, review. Velesto, okay, let's see. Uh. Okay, help me like and share. Uh. We need more viewers, la. Okay, no business uh, lately. <laughs> okay, Velesto actually is still weak, la. Okay, it's still weak. Okay, they break down to do oh, okay, currently at the support zone. Okay, uh, 175190. Okay, uh, which I think uh, the chances of retest is quite high. Due to the 20 already crossed below 50. Okay, means that the short term momentum is weak. Okay, so their last defense is here already. Lah, 175. Okay, 175. If break down, uh, I think not so good. Lah, okay, likely visit 150, 145. Okay, for the penny counters, uh, if they can sell down under here, I think the overall momentum uh, will be uh, quite weak. They might sideways for some time. So, lah. Okay, so this one. Yeah, you monitor 175 lah. Okay, if break, uh, maybe skip first lah. Okay, we wait for the price to stabilize first. Okay, how about the uh, airport TP? <clears throat> EP665. Uh, yeah, <laughs> your EP now. Uh. Okay, I think you need to consider you want to break even or not lah. Okay, so what we can see airport lah. They always seems like okay. Let me delete all the lines. Huh? Seems like they already hit the resistance. Huh? Right? So they already hit resistance, although uh, previous, recently they do break out seven ringgit. Okay, they do break out seven ringgit, but unable to stay above seven ringgit. Okay, so seven ringgit is. Yeah, resistant again. Okay, recently break 2050. Okay, 20 cross below 50. Okay, red line is a 20 MA, blue line is a 50 MA. 20 cross 50, the trend is uh, weak. Lah. Okay, so immediate support 664, 665. Okay, is your entry and also it's a 100 MA. Okay, if this level break down, uh, okay, next stronger support. I think it's about 640 already. Uh. Okay, so for this case, uh, maybe monitor 6650. If the price close below 665, okay, maybe you can consider cut first and wait around here. 640. Okay, because uh, once break here, don't have a very solid support already. Okay, next solid support is somewhere around 640. Okay, momentum also favor to the bear. Lah. Okay, the chances of breaking down, I think, slightly higher. Okay, how about E-Win, EP45? E-Win, I think, not bad, right? Okay, congratulations. <laughs> okay, so today, okay, Thursday, they do break out 450. 
Friday, nothing much today, and another uh, rally. Okay, you're looking for S1, S2, R1, O2. So 480 was a uh, resistant, right? Okay, this would be your R2. La. I think I assume it's a second resistant because uh current price is about 520. La. So I will use the psychology level, which is 50 cents as your R ah, sorry, S1. Okay, S1, S2, 50 cents, 480. So if they can spike out further, uh, next resistance would be here already. 535. Okay, 535. 540 okay here which you can see oh 535 545 is your immediate resistance okay if they can continue breakout lah oh, continue breakout 560 already though 560 585 okay i put 56 580 for you lah okay 535 540 is your immediate resistance Okay, once they can clear off, we only say five five eight oh lah. Okay, overall I think yeah, still all right. As long as tomorrow stay above fifty cents, I think the momentum is still okay. But if they close below fifty cents, uh, I think uh they might need sideways a while lah. <clears throat> okay, how about gas Malaysia? Okay, bounce up, hit resistant, your EP three one O S one S two R one O two. Okay, your S is definitely back in three one O lah. Okay. So yeah, at least you got EP, but immediate resistant uh three two O, three two five, and triple three. Okay, three three three. And if you want the immediate support, maybe we can use uh, immediate support, uh, maybe we can use here three one three. Okay, three one three and 317 okay 317 313 this one is a minor minor support lah okay minor support okay overall hopefully they can clear 320 lah okay if they are unable to clear 320 they might terbalik down lah okay and don't forget they just break down 200 ma lah so could be a turning point lah okay what i worry is a sell down rebound and sell down okay so uh, unless they can clear 320 and go to 3 to 5 and above. Okay. They only consider make a comeback. Okay. E Wing Gas Malaysia JHM <clears throat> support resistant. Huh? Okay, JHM is still sideways, boring. Okay, but uh, if we base on the MACD and overall structure, lah, okay, they do have some bullish. Uh, bullish momentum lah. Okay, do have a sign that show us that it's a possible bottoming lah. Okay, possible only lah. Huh? But main thing ah, uh, the price is still below two hundred MA. Ah, uh, still consider downtrending counters. Okay, the only thing uh, attract me is the twenty, fifty, and hundred MA's. <clears throat> they are over here. Okay, but now the JHM they need to clear this level eight three zero eight four zero. Okay, support resistance. So this is your resistance. Uh, 830, Once they can clear off, uh, we are seeing potential uh, rally up to here. 920. Okay, don't don't say about the come at, come back or what. Uh, okay, tentatively, I see they do have a potential for the bottoming. For, but for them to make a comeback, they need to clear 106. Okay, but still far away. Uh, okay, so for the support, okay, stronger one would be about 760. But if speaking about immediate, I would say around 80 cents. Uh, 80 cents, 760. Okay, but if 760 also unable to hold, uh, uh, or we can say 750. Lah. Okay, if 750 also unable to hold, uh, uh, maybe not so good already. Okay, they might go to 710 or even lower. Okay, so this one, yeah, still can KIV, but the risk is higher lah, because the, they are still considered downtrend encounters. Okay, don't forget. Last year also the same. Uh. They also got a breakout, but fear continues sell down. Okay, now another bottom. So I see it's potential rebound lah. Okay, not a reversal. They need to clear two hundred MAs or go above one oh six. I only can trade them as a, a potential reversal. <clears throat> okay, rest is okay. UTD ah. Uh. United Plantation. Okay, face some rejection. Uh. 
a bit topish uh, in my opinion these counters ep155 uh. okay uh, i feel they are a bit topish but currently at 16 dollars uh, which is their immediate support maybe i pull down a bit give them a buffer 1590 oh, okay so you watch out 1590 if can stay i think uh, your position should be safe but if they close below uh, maybe you can okay take profit first okay and wait to re-enter back at 15.5 Okay, if they break below or uh, 15.9 means that the price already break 50 MA. Okay, short term not so strong already. Okay, because currently they already break 20 MA. Okay, 50 MA is my last defense for the short term. Okay, once they break, break I see more downside. Lah. Okay, probably may go way below 15.5. <clears throat> Okay, after this, and for the resistance, right? 16.26, okay, and 16.5. <clears throat> okay, EP for Genting and Genting Malaysia. Okay, today got some news, right? Genting and Genting Malaysia. <laughs> okay, let's go for the Genting first. Huh? <clears throat> okay, what we can see today's uh, Genting, uh, the price uh, open gap up. But they are unable to clear for six one. Okay, closing. Okay, uh, to be honest, I think it's still all right la, Although it's a black can, uh, it's a red candle. Okay, and looks like it's a something like profit taking la, sell on new something like that. Okay, because market open gap, <coughs> gap up, push up, and by end of day, gonna press down. But so far, we can see they do have a minor support here. Okay. Uh, today low is about four four five three, okay four five three four five five is a immediate support zone. Okay, if you want, maybe you can monitor here lah. If you more good, the good, wait around four five zero. Okay, ah, uh, actually it's also about the same lah. And I hope that they can stay above four five four, which is a two hundred MA. If they do, I do, I think they do have potential to uh, bounce out further. Okay, if they break below four five zero, most likely may revisit four four zero. Okay, but this one, this candidate, I think they do have potential as for today. Lah. Okay, but for Genting Malaysia, I think not so strong. Okay, what we can see on Genting Malaysia price. <clears throat> Market open here, but they push all the way up to 266. Okay, hit the resistance. Lah. But by end of day, gonna press down. Okay, looks like this is a pump and dump lah for today. So I, I need to see. What happened tomorrow? Okay, if tomorrow is a bearish candle, then you wait 250. Okay, but if tomorrow is a uh, small candle, they stay above here, then only consider. Maybe on a uh, Wednesday, uh, we review again. Okay, maybe we KIV 255 first. If they close below 255, okay, forget about it. Wait at 250 already. Okay, but if uh tomorrow and Wednesday the price can stay like that, maybe we can only consider around here. Okay, otherwise I think they might go, go back down lah because this is a bump and dump lah. Maybe sell on news ah. Okay, buy on news and sell on news also lah. Okay, just a one day one day show only. Okay, I want to see tomorrow what happens first. <clears throat> okay, how about the Bursa? Okay, this one long time no see ah. I think not good lah. Okay. As we all know, uh, the trading volumes now are, uh, okay, most retailers now back to work already. Uh, I don't think our volumes is there. Uh. <laughs> okay, currently for the Brusa, nothing much. Uh. Okay, immediate support. Uh, uh, immediate support, 200 MA. So, 638. Uh, maybe I put lower circuit. 63, uh, yeah, 638. Uh. Okay, current price is a support la, and also is a uh, 200 MA. Okay, if tomorrow uh, the price is below 638, uh, example uh, 635 or below, la, I think not so good already. Consider break down 200 MA and they might go to revisit 617 or 6 ringgit level. Okay, overall what I see on Brusa is weak. Okay, it's a pump, sideway, dumb down. Okay, support also broken. So if tomorrow they continue sell down, okay, close below 638. Uh, I think most more downside on the uh Brusa. Unless the next few days they can get supported, uh, then do have chance to bounce up. <clears throat> okay, next is the PR lessons. Uh. 
Okay, PRSS today market. <coughs> market open gap up, breakout 495, breakout 50 cents with volumes. Okay, looks like still all right. Uh, EP470 OTP. Okay. okay, for this case, uh, hopefully tomorrow got another push. Lah, okay, if they can push out your immediate resistance, 530. Okay, 530 and more conservative a bit. Lah, okay, maximum I see lah, triple five. Okay, what I worry now, you can see uh, first time high volume. Second time, high volume. Third time, okay. I'm not sure whether the history will repeat or not. Lah. If the history may repeat, means that tomorrow is a sell day. Okay, so means that market open, you need to sell already. Because based on the previous experience, okay, what we can see, okay, after this, uh, the next day is a sell down. Uh, no chance for you to sell at the higher price. Okay, i not sure tomorrow will follow or not. Lah. Okay, if we based on their previous behavior, maybe tomorrow we'll have another sell down. Lah. Okay, so yeah, depends on you. Okay, you want to quickly TP first or you want to queue higher. Okay, if you want to queue higher, 530. Or if you want to monitor, you monitor 495. Stay above, you are still safe. But if they close below, then no good. They might come back down to 465 or even lower. So yeah, I, I'm not sure whether they want to do the same things or not. Lah, but looks like, okay, do have chance. Lah, okay, quite similar pattern. Lah, okay. <clears throat> so the next one is a review K+. Plus, huh? Okay, K+, plus looks like still all right. Yeah? Still all right. Okay, so far push up Friday sell but the low volumes or oh, today neutral so care plus we can see their immediate support 30 cents stay above you are still safe okay and they need to go through uh, they need to go through three uh three four oh let me see uh, three three five can uh, yeah they need to go through three three five once they can clear above three three five meaning the closing price Price uh, must be 340 and above. Okay, 335 and above. Uh, 340 is the best. Uh. Okay, then you only see 375. Okay, seems like the rebounding is still there. Uh, okay, the momentum is still there. So I think, yeah, if you have already have, I think, yeah, you can fight. Uh. As long as above 30 cents, I think it's still safe. Okay, Ying Sen, uh, Ying Sen WA. Let's go for the mother price. Okay, today got a hammer like candle. Lah, okay, after a series of sell down. Okay, <laughs> but they do also happen. Uh, hammer, but next day continue sell down. Lah. So uh, do watch out. Okay, what we can see, Ying Sen today sell down all the way to 200 MAs and rebound up. So hopefully, okay, hopefully this is a real, real uh, hammer. Lah. Okay, so they do support it. 236 okay sell all the way down to 227 okay your support s1 s2 r1 and 2 okay so hopefully they can continue stay above uh, their last defense are uh, 227 immediate support maybe i put about 235 lah. 235 if they can bounce out i see maximum 244 lah. okay 244 how about the ying sen san wa Okay, also a mini hammer, but they already break triple five, break five five oh. Okay, they do support it, five two five lah. Okay, so five two five would be your immediate support. S one S two. Okay, five two five fifty cents and the resistance. I will use five 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 lah. Triple five is your R one, and R two is five eight five. Okay, not so strong lah. Huh? Discounters. <clears throat> okay, review HSI and two o one three. Okay, let's go for the H. SI first. Okay, here. Uh, this is a weekly. Okay, HSI, uh, to be honest, I feel they do have potential to bounce up. Lah. Okay, as we can see on the weekly candle, uh, last week weekly candle, still not that bad. Okay, still uh, bullish looking. 
And back to the daily daily candle, we can see they already break out 200 MA and retest currently retest 200 MA. So watch out on their immediate support. 19.5k. Okay, 19.5k. As long as stay above, we can still bullish on it. And do have potential to retest 20k, 20.2k. Okay, how about 2013? Uh, let me see. Uh. Way more. Okay, sorry. I use this one better. 213. Okay, this counters, I think, is still okay. Still have potential. Okay, they do have a. Okay, downtrend since when? 2021, July. Break down 200 MAs. Downtrend until recently. Okay, uh, last year, la, end of uh, November. La, last year, November. Okay, we do can see last year November break up 200 MAs. Rally up. Currently retest 200 MAs and bounce up. Okay, looks like they do have potential uh, from the uh, downtrend change to uptrend. Okay, do have potential for the reversal. Uh. Where well, momentum is still alright. <clears throat> so, yeah, if speaking about review, today got some sell down, just a profit taking. Uh, I think still fine. So, immediate support, which is a stronger one, maybe we can put 5 ringgit. Okay, 5 ringgit and the important, important level, 455. Okay, this is a level that uh, consider a 200 MA uh, yeah, or, or I, give them, give them, I give them a buffer uh, until 440, okay, because uh, here got the gap. Uh. Okay, as long as uh, this counters, uh, the price is above 440, uh, I'm still bullish with it, them. And I think they do have potential from uh, downtrend to uptrend. Okay, so currently I see they might retest a few, uh, five ringgit level, uh, five dollars level. Uh. Okay, go below 440, no game. Okay, stay above, I think it's still all right. Okay, still okay. You can get heavy uh, if you are trading this 369. Meituan, not so good. Uh. Meituan still downtrend. Uh. Yeah, downtrend since 2021. Uh. Break down the 200 MAs, and you can see these counters are uh, they keep tested 200 MAs, unable to go through. Okay, they are still in the downtrend. So, this one I won't suggest do anything lah. Okay, unless you want to do some bottom fishing, wait around 120. Okay, 120, 113 is a support zone. Okay, uh, tested back in last year, March, last year, October, they do bounce from this zone. 113, 120. Okay, it break, no game. Uh. Okay, how about wells? Uh? New counters, uh. Susa. Susa not analyze. Uh. Okay, let me try. Uh. 375. Okay, 355. Okay, these counters are nothing much I can comment. Okay, what, what I can say is uh, first day, they do have a bounce up. Okay, rally, sell down, then continue sideways. Okay, recently, they do have pulled up a bit. Lah. Okay, but let me see on their volumes. Uh. Uh, bullet tahan. Okay, bullet tahan. Okay, for these counters, support 375, 355. Okay, no game uh, if they close below 355. Okay, below 355. Totally no game already. They might uh, maybe revisit 330. But this counter is too new already. Uh, not fair for us to use a TA to find the to judge them. Uh, okay. January until now only, uh, only two two months like that. So what I see is temporarily they might go sideways. Uh. Okay, how about the uh coaster EP216? Uh? 216 today closing 215. Okay, at least Coaster recently bounced from the 205 lah, and also bounced from the uh, 200 MAs. Okay, so if they can continue goes up, okay, you watch out 225 lah, 225, 233. And support, I would say immediate one. Uh, immediate 212. Okay, immediate 212 and then 205. Okay, oh, sorry, I just saw your... Uh, Comment that your EP is 385 uh, for Wells. 
uh, if since you already EP385 lah, okay, about here ma. Right. So I think it's still okay lah. Still okay. Since you're already EP and now in in a small profit. If tomorrow, okay, they can continue goes up lah. Okay, so you can wash out 420. Okay, 420, 440 is your R1, R2. Okay. So review SAM. Uh, Sam not so good lah. Break two hundred MA is already uh. Okay, if if you have haven't in uh, okay, you wash out triple four. Okay, which is here. Okay, triple four. But don't you think this looks like a? Okay, don't you think this looks like a, a head and shoulder? Okay, one mountain, two mountain, three mountain. Ha. Huh. Okay, means that if they break below triple four, they might have a strong sell down. Okay, so watch out on triple four, and they do happen before here. Not not so exactly like the head and shoulder, but at least we can see this is a or maybe so called triple top. You see, the triple top breakdown, uh, the selling pressure is very strong. Okay, so currently they do have another potential, not so alike. But we can say this is a potential uh, formation. Lah. Okay, once they break down, uh, I think 4 ringgit, 350 or 3 ringgit also possible. Okay, so tentatively what I see is uh, uh, the risk is there. Lah. Okay, the risk is there. Uh, but yeah, you still need a confirmation, uh, triple 4. <clears throat> okay, how about shift and Genting Malaysia? Okay, Genting Malaysia cover already, lah, but uh, we go through shift first. Uh. <clears throat> Okay, this counters are uh, sideway, nothing much. Uh, let me see. Also IPO, right? Yeah, IPO. Lah. Okay, since IPO, this one not so good. Lah, this operator, since first day, they sell down already. Uh, continue sell down. Even rebound, also sell down. <clears throat> okay, so, so far, this counters EP for Swift. Okay, so far, nothing much. Okay, what I can say is oh, they are still sideway. Okay, if you got the holding power, okay, you can buy and hold for another few weeks or months. Okay, I think it's still all right. Lah. Okay, but if you just want to do contra or day trade, I think this counter is not so suitable. Lah. As not much range and more into sideway. <clears throat> okay, for the better EP or means that better support, lah, I would say around 455, 435. Okay, resistance, 50 cents, 520. And what I see on the trend is uh, they are just going sideways. Okay, until they can break up, we only will see further upside. Okay, Genting Malaysia uh, just now cover already. Uh. But I see, oh, I still need one or two days confirmation first. Okay, because today price session not so good. Okay, what we can see, oh, the market open, oh, sorry. The market open here, gonna push up to 266 and gonna sell down. I, I need to see whether tomorrow and Wednesday, how the market digest this, this candle. Okay, if they can go sideways, then we can uh, jump in, uh, maybe 255 there. But if they break below 255, uh, maybe we can wait lower. Okay, probably 250 or even lower. Okay, so Wednesday, we review again. Okay, Genting Malaysia. <clears throat> okay, uh, review LYC. Uh. Okay, LYC, any in the quick pump and dump, right? Yeah, back in 2020. Yeah, these counters, you know their, their behavior. Lah, huh? yeah, here, pump and dump. Okay, so far, what happened here? Here also same, uh, pump and dump. 31st January, pump. Second day. Dumb down, second trading days, uh, okay, second of uh, February, dumb down. Then now you can see the volume is exactly the same. Okay, then second attempt, pump out, currently retest. Okay, so for this case, if you want to try, okay, I think, yeah, fair enough because this is a potential support. Okay, if they can pump out, you do wash out 30 cents, 3 to 5. 
Okay. So uh no game uh, if they go below two to five. Okay. If close below two to five, no game. Okay, how about Pokong? Okay, Pokong, I think the goal-related counters, uh, do mention that they usually just a uh, pump and dump. Lah. Okay, they just spike out. Uh. You can see they happen many times already. They usually spike out uh, due to the gold price is high. But when the gold price uh, is like gonna whack down, uh, they also may go sideways or gonna whack down. <laughs> okay, so for me... Uh, Unless you can get at a low price, uh, otherwise, uh, when they spike out, uh, you then you don't go and chase, uh. Okay, for popcorn, maybe you can watch out. Eight eight zero is your immediate support. Okay, if they close below, then oh, they might go to eight eight five zero or even lower. Okay, so temporarily because uh just now I do mention that the gold price uh, the gold price may have uh, some correction soon uh, so I believe they might follow as well. Okay, Ternaga, please. Ternaga. Ternaga. Let me see. Uh. Ternaga been down trend since when? 2018, sep uh, September. Okay, if I close all the line, we can see when was that? 2018, right? Okay, the high is getting slightly lower. Here. Okay, we can see after 2018, uh, our Ternaga is low. But recently, they do have a rally up, break above these few levels. Okay, which is uh, 2021, 2020 level. Okay, about 10 ringgit. Lah. Okay, so I think, let me see. Uh, yeah, I think they are still all right. Uh, they are still all right. Ah, let me too many lines already. Okay. Most importantly, these counters must go stay above nine ringgit. Okay, this also you can say this is a formation. Uh, okay, not so light, not so nice lah. Okay, but can say it's a potential inverse head and shoulder. Lah. Not not so exactly lah, but at least we can see some bottoming formation and a breakout. Okay, break up 9 ringgit. As long as stay above 9 ringgit, I think it's still all right. And for the resistance, 977, 10 ringgit. Okay, so how about our immediate support? Okay, because recently they keep get resisted by 20, uh, 50 MA. So I think they might come back down to retest 925. Okay, so might go sideways a while first. Lah. Okay, but overall... Momentum, I think, is still okay. Okay, these counters. <clears throat> okay, but uh, this counter is kind of boring one. Uh, okay, the not much movement one. Okay, how about the EP for Gintech? Okay. Okay, Gintech face resistant. Uh, you can see this is uh, last year, January. Resistant zone. And how about this year? Hit. R, R, R. Okay, so they might come back to retest here. Lah. Okay, if you are interested, 263, 270. Okay, 263, 270. But if they break below 263, 263, lah, huh? below 263, you need to see 250, 240 already. Okay, if break down, also not so good. Lah, huh? Already form a triple top. If they break down, uh, then not so good. Lah. They might go to here. Okay, so your cut loss if they close below 263. 263. Okay, FFB. I'm fresh. Uh. Yeah. Break down 150. Uh. Uh, not so nice. Uh. This one, I would say wait for the price to stabilize first. Lah. Okay, temporarily. I don't see anything good yet. Lah. Okay. Ah, this one also. Lah. I think overrated a bit. Lah. Since IPO, they already sell down. Even the rebound also sell down. Okay. And then after that, sideway. Okay. Currently, they are more favored to the bear. Lah. Okay. the They are below all moving averages. Okay. So maybe you can watch out one. Yeah. 149150. Okay. 
if the next few days they can keep stay above 149, 150, then you can try for the potential bottoming. Lah. Okay, but if the closing price is below 149, uh, example 147, 145, right there, then you stay away first. Lah. Okay, we see how it's going. Overall, I see they are still weak. Lah. Okay, they are still weak. Okay, how about the Gabongan? Gabongan, okay, Gabongan, I think still have potential. Huh? Okay, uh, let me delete all the old lines and redraw this one. Okay, what we can see here is a potential bullish moment, uh, bullish divergence. Uh. Okay, the price is more into sideways, right? But here it's going up. Okay, a little bit bullish divergence. Okay, second thing is recently they break up 200 MAs. Retest. Okay, seems like 200 MAs is supported. Okay, so yeah, from the downtrending counters below 200 MAs, Bunia currently is or try to stay above 200 MAs. Lah. So for them to make a comeback is quite uh, quite possible. Lah. Okay, quite possible. Technical point of view. Lah. Okay, technical point of view. So these counters, uh, as long as the price stay above 280, okay, I think it's still worth to KIV. Okay, still can monitor. So 280, 290 is a support zone. Stay above, I think they are still safe. But if close below 280, no game lah. Okay, means I'm wrong also lah. Okay, so yeah, this is my, yeah, I will still put in my watch list if the price, okay, or the price, as long as stay above 280, I will still put in my watch list. But if one day they close below 280, then I just uh, remove from watch list lah. Okay, how about MI? Okay, MI seems like they need some correction also. Lah. No strength. Ah. <clears throat> Here they do have a rally. Sell down. Bounce up. Seems like they are unable to re-challenge uh, 2 ringgit or 210. So for these counters, uh, they also get resisted by 20 MA. Okay, seems like they might retest here. Lah, 175 or go sideways first. Okay, stay above 175. Shock. Uh, they still got potential. Okay, if they stay above 175. But if they close below, uh, not so good. Lah. They might go to 155 or even lower. <clears throat> okay, this is MI. How about time com? A uh, time com uh, always always no EP for me. <laughs> okay. <coughs> time com uh, uh ideal level is about 526. Uh. Okay, 526. Uh, which or uh, maybe maybe by the time yeah should be about five two five like that lah five two five. Uh, also by the time should be about a uh, fifty ma. Okay, this is a immediate EP lah if you are interested. But if you want a deep discount uh, I think it's about five ringgit. I don't know when they will come lah because, uh, you can see they every day going up higher 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 higher. Okay, they still haven't had a, a strong sell down and then only go up. Okay. So, so far, if you follow 20 MA to enter, also can. But uh, recently, break, break down 20 MA. Lah. So, I think, I assume they might get supported by the 50 MA, which is 525. Okay. <clears throat> but for me, it's not so attractive lah, because uh, the upside uh, for me is uh, not quite limited. Lah, okay. Okay, quite limited. But uh, the trend is still nice. Lah, okay, the trend is still nice. Case study CFM. Chief Finance Minister. <laughs> okay, these counters are definitely no game. Lah, huh? Case studies are this one no need no need buy on ah. Huh? Okay, these counters are when you see the chart lah, okay, before this happened, ah, when you see the chart, lah, they do those chart who like to do this uh pump and dump uh, you need to extra be careful lah. okay you can see they do a multiple times but before that if speaking about the signal uh, not much signal okay let me see uh. okay before that but what what i can say is oh they go up quite quite fast lah, and not so healthy Okay, they can be like few weeks keep pumping out. Okay, and one thing to take note uh, when the counters pump out too fast 
and they go sideways at the top uh, for too long, I uh, need to be careful. Uh, okay, it could be a distribution. Okay, so this is a pump and sell and then break down, give out. Okay, oh, and the selling is like every day. Uh, okay, especially today, the volume is the highest. So these counters, I think in short term, uh, should be no game. Uh, okay, because uh, most people get trapped. Uh, okay, whoever whoever bought here bought here and didn't sell they all lose money okay so these counters yeah don't touch lah no need to touch on still still got so many counters <laughs> how about hata tp hata tp okay okay what what we can see these few days are uh, like 21st march 22nd march 23rd and 24th of March, what they tell us, okay, what is the price tell us, okay, okay, see the orange line, right, this one is a 200 MAs, okay, and these four trading days, okay, you see the price unable to break through, okay, means that they face some resistance already, okay, uh, within 2 ringgit to 209, okay, when they hit here, people keep want to sell here, so this is my TP already lah, Okay, two ringgit. Okay, two ringgit. Maximum I will see under 209. Lah. Okay, so lucky thing, uh, but today market already open gap down. Lah. Okay, hopefully when they retest two ringgit or above, uh, you can try to get out some. Lah. Okay, okay, review Atronic. Atronic is also one of the counters. Uh. It's Atronic. <laughs> the counters. Uh. You can see their pattern, uh, you know one day they will do a pump and dump, uh, okay? You can see, uh, they do many times already, uh, these counters. Uh, uh, you can see, uh, when? 2021. Before that, eh? uh, here also, 2017. Okay, now here, 2006. Okay, 2006, 2017. Uh, you see, in between, uh, they do many times already. Uh, here also, uh, 2021. So when you see the chart, uh, the price keep going up uh, without any healthy correction or a healthy sideway. Uh, uh, usually, it's quite dangerous. Uh, okay, uh, This can be a last pump and then continue sell down. Okay, so yeah, here also, 2021, 2022. Okay. Last year, April, another pump. Okay, here also, la, you can see uh, they pump out many days without any retracement. Uh. Okay, pump out without any retracement. Uh. They could anytime sell down. Okay, so recently what happened? Okay, open back all the lines. Okay, pump out on 15, sell down and sideways. Okay, at the moment, they consider still safe la, because uh, they are not in the stage that they pump out a lot already. Okay, they are still in the sideway. Okay, so review only. La. Okay, review. If review, I think you are still safe if you already in. <clears throat> okay, as long as they above 660, I think it's still all right. Okay, 660, 630, stay above, I think it's still all right. If they can go up to 715, 750, it's a place you can consider to uh, maybe protect some profit. Lah. Okay, these counters is quite, what I see is quite manipulated. Lah. Okay, from chart perspective. Okay, how about Sunview? Wait, Sunview already break down 760. Lah. Okay, in my opinion, oh, not so strong already. Okay, because uh, here is a support, right? So they pump out. Okay, maybe a double top lah. Okay, break down and also break down 50 MA. So based on what I see, if they are unable to recover back above 7.60, I'm seeing more downside, maybe to 6.85 or even lower. Okay, how, uh, how about Hengyuan? Oh, Hengyuan also long time no see. Uh. Hengyuan is still weak lah. Okay, still weak. Even they can rebound, just a rebound. <laughs> okay, so if, if they can go up, maybe 3.45 only lah. 3.45, 3.60. But overall structure, no signal, don't do anything yet. Lah. Okay, don't do anything yet. <clears throat> okay, me just now cover already. If later got time, I cover again. Lah. Okay, uh, hello, Mike. 
EP for LHI, MSC. MSC cover already, uh, LHI. Let's go. <clears throat> okay, LHI, I think when uh, 17th of March got high volume. Okay, but they didn't sell down, uh, continue push up. Okay, currently they are facing a resistance, uh, 535. Okay, if you are looking for EP, not now, la. <laughs> okay, uh, not so attractive, uh, current price. Okay, that's what we can see here. Resistant, right? The hit current price is at resistant. Okay, if we jump in, our risk is there. La. What if the price unable to go to 535 and sell down? Okay, maybe go back to 510 or 50 cents. Okay, so not so worth. La. Uh, if they can come down, uh, you consider 50 cents still okay. Unless they can break out and stay above, we only consider 535. <clears throat> okay, maybe Wednesday we'll review again. Okay, Wednesday. How about MSC? MSC does not cover already. Uh, breakdown 191 already. So uh, tomorrow you watch out uh, 179. Can stay? Okay. Cannot stay? 169. Okay. Uh, but what I see is uh, the bear is stronger. Uh, okay. The, uh, yeah, the bear is stronger. So your risk would be higher uh, for these counters. Okay, how about PP Jack? <clears throat> okay, PP Jack is more into sideway uh, to EP. Okay, at least their uh, overall structure, I think, is still okay. Okay, MACD is sideway. And the price session, what we can see is uh, still sideway. Okay, I think it's still safe for these counters. So support 530. And another maybe 520. Okay, 520, 530 if they can come to this level. Okay, and resistance, I would say 550. La. Immediate resistance, 550, 560. Okay, tentatively, uh, because uh, what we can see the price action is okay, the structure. Okay, they are into sideway only. Okay, hopefully they, they, they will revisit maybe 530 or 520 for you. La. Okay, otherwise, wait for them to break up. Okay, 560, retest. Only, only do a trade. La. But overall, I think this counters. As long as above 520, I'm still all right. La. I'm still uh, I'm still bullish with them. How about SMRP? <clears throat> this counter, if you want to EP, you're too late. La. <laughs> okay, and you're too risky to jump in. La. And yeah, you can see... Uh, from the bottom, uh, maybe assume 185. Okay, rally up all the way to the peak. Uh, 575. Or oh, you want the peak is uh, here. Okay, sorry. Yeah, about here. Lah. So we assume uh, they have rallied up more than 200% already. Okay, if you jump in now, uh, uh, how much reward you can get? <laughs> okay, and furthermore, what we can see here, 17th of March. Hey, sorry. A strong bearish candle, high volume. Okay, this could be someone try to sell their ticket at here already. Okay, so for me, it's uh, very dangerous for us to jump in. Nah. Especially a stock already jump up so much. You think still can go up another 100% or not? Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, so for short term trade, it's still okay, but uh, the risk is there. Lah. Okay, immediate support. Maybe if you die, die must see, die, die must buy, okay, watch out. Uh, 485, 455 is your S1, S2, okay, support and support, supporter. But uh, what I see is uh, maybe they just hit and rebound like that only, la. hit and rebound like that. Uh, but i not so positive, la, okay, I worried they might U turn and they already rally up so much, la. people will try to take profit, la. okay. <clears throat> How about Kosan? Review Kosan P Chum. Kosan first, ah. The Kosan so far okay, lah. Huh? Break out two hundred MA, rallies out, break out one two five. Okay, which is uh previous support zone back in, uh last year. Okay, so I think so far still okay, lah. Friday neutral, so they may retest the support about one two five. Okay, one two five, one two two S one S two. Okay. As long as I stay above 122, I think it's still all right. Short term momentum should be there. Okay, oh, they also hit here. Uh. They hit here. Uh. Resistant 139. <laughs> okay, 
Uh, but overall, as long as the growth sentiment is still there, I think still got some game lah. Okay. Uh, I but what I see is uh they might retest one two five level lah. <clears throat> okay, P Chum. I mean, not so strong lah. Okay, not so strong lah. I think previously I do mention that they sideways at seven ringgit and break down uh. Overall momentum I see not so good lah. Okay, so these counters uh not so hurry to enter lah. Okay, not so hurry to enter. And what we can see here, they've been sideways here for a few months already. Uh, finally break down. Uh. So means that someone offload maybe lah. Okay, maybe offload at here, uh, then sell down. So uh, give them some time lah. Okay, so no not so hurry to jump in or what. Okay, still very weak. Uh, especially when they break down seven ringgit lah. So uh, still possible uh, to visit 650 or 6 ringgit level. <clears throat> okay, review top glove. Uh. Okay. Okay, what we can see top glove. Thursday rally hit 102. Okay, 102 is where? Okay. Today, sell down, hit 9.05 and get supported. Lah. Okay, so these counters, uh, as long as above 90 cents, I think it's still okay. Lah. Still got chance to retest 102. But for further rally, they need to close above 102. Okay, because this is one of the major resistance. Once clear off, we can see 112. Lah. Okay, otherwise, uh, you need to watch out 90 cents. Okay, 90 cents if break, okay, the momentum not so strong already. Okay, how about Hatta also? Hey, Hatta haven't covered already or not? <laughs> okay, ah, uh, cover already Hatta. Okay, so watch out. Uh, two ringgit, two oh nine is a resistance. Okay, unless they can clear off lah, we only see two one five ah, two two five level. Okay, how about the SDS? Okay, oh, okay, sorry ah, uh, I just realized I I overrun a bit ah, uh, but no problem lah. Okay, those I haven't uh, review uh, I will cover. Okay, SDS, uh, I feel they are turning weak. Lah, okay, so uh, doesn't mean that they will uh, go into downtrend. Uh, maybe they will just go into sideways first. Okay, so watch out 750 as your resistance, uh, yeah, as your support. Lah, okay, recently what we can see, they keep get resisted by uh, 20 and 50 MA. So seems like they lack of strength and also no volumes. Okay, no people want to <laughs> trade these counters. So these counters uh just wait lah. Okay, maybe you can set alerts, maybe 750. Okay. Nothing much. Lah. Okay, more into sideway. Okay, I need to be hurry a bit. Lah. Okay, your EP825. Lah. But why I see this one, they might go to 750. Maybe you can use 80 cents as your last defense. If they close below 80 cents, you jump up first and wait lower. Okay, what I see these counters a bit weak. Lah. Okay, doesn't mean that they will turn into downtrend lah, because they've been rally up so much already. Man. They need sideway a oh, while. Wow, okay, how about Armada? Okay, Armada recently got a sell down, more, now more into sideway. Lah. Okay, 60 cents. Okay, support lah. 60 cents, 570. Okay, if they go below 570, I think not so strong already. Lah. Ah, these counters. And recent sell down is quite strong la. Hopefully they can stay above. Oh, stay above. I think it's still they still got chance to fight back la. Okay, resistance six to five. Okay, how about Wa Xiong? Okay, ah Wa Xiong, Okay, break down seven six five. Break down seven three five. Okay, not good. Hey, sorry. Okay, not good. Uh, they might revisit the support, which is six eight zero. Okay, for me, uh, not not in a good shape for short term. How about the nation gate? Net gate, uh, net gate, new counters, uh, 12th of January. Okay, recently break down this level. Uh, okay, recently break down 131. So I think, yeah, not so good. Okay, short term, not so good. Seems like, uh, you can see, yeah. Uh, Pump so yeah, I, I feel la okay. They are just pump and slowly sell down. Okay, so watch out one two five la. If break 
uh, memang not so good lah. Okay, if break one two five, they might go to one one eight or even lower. Okay, Usma entry seven three five. Ah uh, yeah, Usma also not so good lah. Break fifty MA already ah. Okay, immediate support lah. Correct ah, discounters seven three five ah. You buy at the top ah. Yeah. But okay, if your EP ah is around here, supposingly ah your cut loss ah is here. Okay, when they go below twenty MA or go below the support, okay. At the moment, ah, uh, your current price, current entry, ah, uh, and current price is quite far away, ah. Uh, okay, so even you want to cut, ah, uh, it's also very pain, ah, uh, about twenty percent, ah. But what I see is, ah, uh, since you already hold under here, ah, uh, you watch out five five O, lah. Okay, five five O is also, uh, here. If they can support it and get rebound, ah, or maybe you can find place to escape, lah. Okay, but if they break below five five four, I think they may go to fifty cents or even lower. Okay, ah, uh, tentatively, ah, uh, for them to go back to your entry price, ah, uh, I think not so easy, lah. Okay, ah, uh, what I see if they can rebound up, <clears throat> maybe, maybe five eight five, six two five, six seven zero. Okay. But for from here to seven three five, I think a bit hard. Okay, and your EP ah seven three five ah is a resistance ah. Okay, so yeah, not so good EP lah. Okay, how about MLCB? MLCB sideway lah, huh? Nothing much. <laughs> okay, sideway nothing much. So this one you need patient lah. If you buy these counters, you can see or oh, since last year and then now the price is just go sideway. Okay, nothing much. Okay, but at least they attempt to break out two hundred MAs lah. Okay, so yeah, nothing much yet. I can comment. I see they are just sideway, but the chances is still there lah. Okay, P Chem, I think just now cover ready, right? Yeah, just now cover ready. And C C K P P H P. Okay, I try my best, ah. Okay, C C K C C K also a bit weak, ah. Be careful, ah. These counters. Okay, if we based on the structure, ah, this is a double top breakdown seven two zero. Okay, and they keep get resisted by seven two zero. So, ah, your support, ah, six eight five, resistant seven two zero. C C K P P H P. P P H P also weak lah. Okay, break down seven three five already. Even the rebound ah also no strength. Okay, immediate support six eight zero. Okay, and resistance seventy cent seven three five lah. But discounters okay lah. You watch out seven ah six eight zero ah can hold got chance cannot hold six four six four five already. Okay, Kobe Harbour E Frame. Okay, last three ah. Kobe still at the bottom. <laughs> EP ah, okay. If you believe this is a support zone ah, ah, uh, you do can try lah because your risk is low lah. Okay, two five zero. And cut loss ah, if the price close below two four two. Okay, but the chances of breaking down is also there lah. Okay, because the the overall momentum is still weak. Okay, so you watch out here. Okay, two five zero. Cut loss below two four two. Okay, go below two four two. I think they might have another sell down to maybe two two o or even lower. Okay, ah uh, harbour ah uh. harbour. Yeah, filling the gap lah. Okay, currently, let me delete all the lines. Okay, they do have a gap up previously. Right. Okay, currently filling the gap. So for Harbour, as long as they stay above one o seven, I think still got potential, but yeah, not so confident with them now. Okay, because you can see <laughs> Harbour ah, all this while well, ah. Okay, for the better entry ah, you can see ah, since two thousand twenty two until now ah, the price is just go sideways. Okay, currently is in the middle. If you want a better place ah, it's about here, nine nine o or one ringgit. Okay, with your With your TP, you can aim around one to five, okay? Because uh, they already proven ah uh, this whole year, uh, they just go sideways, okay? And the better place ah uh, is around here, 
Okay. Uh, currently it's in the middle lah. Okay. So in the middle, you if you want to try, cut loss below 107. No. Okay. E-frame, last one. Uh. Okay, those haven't clicked right, uh, please tell me to click right. Uh. Okay, E-frame so far still okay. Supported by 890, rebound up. Okay, the only concern is uh, they much slowly sell down. Lah. Okay, you can see previous rebound. Uh. They are unable to go through 2050 MA uh, and gonna press down a bit. Uh. So, uh, it's still wash out uh, if they retest 890 and get supported, uh, they're still okay. But if they close below 890, uh, then need to be careful with it. Uh, okay. Uh, the trend is still okay, but uh, momentum for short term wise, uh, I see a bit weak. So I expect they might retest uh, 890 zone. Okay. So we see how it's going. Uh, okay. Uh, what I worry is it they from short term, uh, short term already weakening. Uh, okay. Then we need to see long term support can support or not, which is around 890. Okay, thank you everyone for joining our live session. Okay, still here. Okay, and yeah, please do help me to share more. Lah, okay, we need more viewers. And thank you, Sifu, for having me here. If you still haven't downloaded Sifu apps, lah, okay, please go and download. They are available in iOS and Google Play Store. Okay, thank you everyone and see you on Wednesday, 8.30. Okay, thank you everyone. See you Wednesday. <laughs>